Um, as you notice on my mic, it sounds super bassy. You get all that boom, 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 boom. I'm coming through the subs. I don't want that. So what you're going to do is apply what's called a high pass filter. Or also you can relate to it as a low cut. All right, same thing. So high pass filters right here. I started adjusting my high pass filter so I no longer am coming through the subs. Hey, see how nice and clean now my voice sounds? I haven't done any EQing yet on the microphone and that just made a world of difference. It doesn't sound muddy. It doesn't sound like, you know, I can't really understand what the person is saying. And that's a key thing when it comes to vocal mics, all right? Uh, you can also use that on anything that you don't want lows coming through um, or a certain amount of lows. Like say you do want a little bit of lows coming from a particular instrument, but you don't want it to be like super, super, you know, that low 60 hertz stump. You, you want to carry a little bit of it, like sometimes in congas. You, know, you want to carry a little bit of the low end, but you don't want too much. Here's a great place to start without using your EQ. You can already start cutting out some of that low end stuff you don't want right here. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is move over to the uh, to the gate section. Okay. Uh, gate is a really, really handy, very, very important tool uh, in sound, especially for microphones and anything that creates a little bit of noise when when there's nothing going on. For example, like electric guitars. You know, like they don't have anything happening, but they have a sound box till 12 o'clock. You know, they have it up to 11, and then all you hear is. Yeah, you know, and you don't want to hear that, you know, as soon as they're done playing, you want that to cut out. Now, uh, there's ways to cut it out immediately, like a hard gate, and then there's more of a soft gate that'll slowly bring it down, so it's not noticeable, you know. So, we're going to go ahead and play with that guy right there, so we're going to go ahead and turn the gate on, okay. I'm going to take the expression off for now. Uh, so, we're going to start adjusting the gate. Now I've selected my channel and I turn my gate on. Uh, you have certain things uh, within the gate you can adjust certain parameters, okay? Uh, your key filter, if there's a certain key that you want to trigger the gate to kick on, all right? Uh, then you have your threshold, which is very important. It tells it at what range you want it to start kicking in. Your range, how much you want it to come down, all right? And then you have your attack and your release, how quickly you want it to attack the, the signal and so bringing it down, and how quickly you want it to release, or how long you want it to hold on to the signal before it starts releasing it, okay? So, right here on the right side of the board, you see you have GR, gain reduction. Uh, this actually can be used for both the scene when the uh, gain is reduced on the gate, and also when it's reduced on the compressor, okay? So right now for the gate, we'll start adjusting the gate. Let's say we want a quick attack, slow release. Uh, we're going to bring the threshold up, okay? And now you notice that it kicked in. And you get silence in the mic until I start talking. Okay? So for example, <laughs> on, a, uh, on a guitar, you know, you want it to, to kick in. Say you have some noise on the amp, right? So, That's right there. That's so okay. dope. Now, so at the same time, you wouldn't use that same thing for a vocal mic. Because you see what's happening as I'm talking? Yeah. It cuts in and out. So, a setting for a good vocal mic uh, gate is not the same as a good guitar amp gate setting. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> That's okay. so sick. All right, now uh, you know you adjust. Basically, you gotta play with that, looking at your meter, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you know, for for example, Pastor Brad's mic, I have a, a gate on his mic because when he's not talking and I want to give him a little more more volume, I don't want it to feed back. Sometimes leaving the mic open for a long, little by little, starts picking up frequencies in the room as he's moving across the stage when he's not talking and. You know, so I have a gate on that, so it kind of help me when I'm not paying attention to the soundboard. Sometimes it's it's kind of like your right hand man, you know. Yeah. It's like having another sound engineer with you, just just literally controlling the fader. That's that's what a gate does. It, it's like when you're not looking, it'll turn it down for you. 
It's like, <laughs> right? That's what a gate does. 